There could be some changes at the polls for future elections. The state legislature is considering several that could make it more difficult for some to cast their ballot. But leaders supporting the changes say they'll help eliminate confusion. WNCT's Nicole Newman reports. Tomorrow, the state legislature resumes work. When it does, lawmakers may begin considering nearly a half dozen proposed constitutional voting amendments. They include requiring voters to use ID at the polls. Currently, voters don't have to show identification to cast their ballots. While lawmakers are aiming to finish this year's work session by the end of the month, they've already sent a bill to Governor Roy Cooper's desk that eliminates a portion of early voting. A spokesperson for the governor says the governor is concerned about any legislation that could result in fewer opportunities for people to vote. The bill would require early voting sites in counties to be open weekdays from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. It keeps early voting at 17 days, but with the elimination of the option to vote on the Saturday before Election Day. Authors of the bill say the changes will reduce voting confusion, as well as give local election officials more time to prepare for Election Day. But Democrats say the Saturday before election is a popular voting day disproportionately used by black voters. The North Carolina Democratic Party released this statement about the changes. This law will make it harder for North Carolinians to vote, plain and simple. Republicans tried to rig our elections before, and they're doing the same now. It's no coincidence this effort comes right before Republicans face a bruising election season and a blue wave of fired up voters. The only way to protect the right to vote is to break the Republican supermajority this fall. Nicole Newman, 9 on your side.